Here she is. We have quite a few parts here for the car. We pulled the Mark II S car out. That's going to be good. Lots of late nights ahead. Should be a lap in the engine oil. Cheers. Tight. What have we here? Be interesting. Get our first spread of fresh air. <laughs> what time is it? And where are you? <laughs> uh, almost half as one. Almost one thirty. Uh, Wednesday, just after Long Beach. I flew home on Monday, got home, flew up four hours, sleep, drove to the first boat in England, uh, drove all the way across England, drove straight here. Uh, so I've had four hours sleep since coming back from America. And yeah, about to take home the new E92. Excited to see it. I've been thinking about a new car for a little bit. I love the S14 and the 15s, but I just wanted to try something different. And this year we've had the opportunity, so we kind of went all in. <laughs> <laughs> I got a spin in Kristaps' car last year in um, English Low, New Jersey after Formula D. Uh, I didn't drive it in the passenger seat, but I was seriously impressed with how the chassis felt and their level of work and fabrication is uh, is incredible and it's actually the first car which I've had that I wasn't involved with the full build with all my family um, but you know these guys are just experts it's like it's, it's like a top spec WRC car but for, for drifting so it's going to be a shame to paint it but <laughs> painting the car with Kevlar Teal and blue Teal and blue so over the next couple of weeks, we need to finish the car. It's going to be busy, along with competing in FD and everything else. Ireland, across Ireland to the ferry from Wexford to Wales, drove all across England to Dover, got the ferry to Calais, drove one kilometre in France <laughs> to the filling station where we met your man with the car, loaded the van and car, turned straight around, got back, drove one kilometre back to the ferry. <laughs> 90 minutes later, we're back in England. Drove, how long did that take? Seven hours? Seven hours back through England, now we're here. 30 something hours later, getting the ferry back to Ireland. Which one? I five, can't see him, five. I know. Five, is it? Okay. Of course, yes. Five all the way to the end, so we'll be first off. <laughs> too bad. We have quite a few parts here for the car. A lot of work to do over the next couple of weeks. And very exciting times. New Samsonis gearbox, five speed sequential. Sweet HGK billet, uh, CNC gearbox mount. That's such good quality. Our favourite nitrous, of course. 
solenoids, some spare solenoids, hypertune, valve covers, hypertune intake. Uh, yeah, a lot of nice stuff there. Billet, billet valve covers, really nice. Uh, Titan Motorsports dry sump pan, hypertune exhaust manifold, Borg Warner EFR, uh, 9180 turbo, that's spare. Dry some system, hanging pedal box, but Alcon uh, master cylinders. We got some engine parts, they're all from Titan, uh, spare Borg Warner. Um, we got our fresh carbo seats, carbon, these are really cool. Carbon revenge seats, um, Irish flag on the back, I'll show you more about them later. Nice fresh block. Nitrous is mounted in here behind the seat. Windows quick release. So quite easy to change. Oh, I love this. I've always wanted a proper hanging pedal box. That's fairly proper. Reach the pedals? Not even a full stretch. <laughs> quick run around the car after having it here the first few days in Ireland. Um, a few small jobs done. They're waiting on a few more, a few more parts. But um, at the brake, balance bias adjuster here, pedal box and pedals set up to the right height and uh, distance for me. But the uh, Alcon cylinder is fitted. We're just about to start taking the body kit off it and get it ready for paint uh, at mom speed and. Nitrous solenoids mounted. Um, mm, yeah, and a lot of little small things. Over here we have some of the parts, a hypertune exhaust manifold, intake manifold, and their billet rocker covers. Uh, so next thing we're expecting the brake fittings, brake piping, all of that stuff arriving on Monday. Uh, so plumb all the brakes, plumb the clutch, um, get them all working. Then I should have the motor plate uh, for the engine on Thursday, I'm guessing. So uh, we'll build the engine, uh, get that fitted in during the week. And next weekend the car is going for paint. And yeah, it's going to be coming together pretty fast. The week after it's getting all the wiring completed. And I'm going to FD for Orlando. Uh, so it's going to be busy. Lots of late nights ahead. All hands on deck here in Ireland. Uh, but we'll get there. I'm very, very excited. Mike pulled the Mark II Escort out. Give it a wash. So I'm taking a lot of workshop space to finish the E92. Oh, that's such a cool car. I think they built it back in, as far as I remember, 2003. Um, still on the paint since then, really cool car, Toyota 4AG engine, yeah, last time I drove that I was probably 11, 12 years old, I'd love to drive it again. Short wheelbase E92, I love the quality of the carbon Kevlar here, all sealed around, no smoke getting in anywhere. Which is one of my favourite things about a well-built drift car is no smoke getting into the cabin. Every single one of the seams is uh, covered with sealer and yeah, it's really well sealed even down here. Sealer where it's meeting the bulkhead. Body kit comes apart really nice, really nice brackets holding, holding everything together. But very easy to take off to, probably took me... Uh, 35 minutes to strip the whole car and yeah it's a lot of Kevlar the weight of the stuff considering that's the whole side of an E92 it's so light it's crazy very very impressed and extremely flexible <coughs> our first turnover Sexy. 
That cover is just unreal. A lot of parts, not much time. Um, we'll get there. Very excited. <laughs> she looks good, doesn't she? <laughs> that obviously. It's just like cold air intake. Secret. Top secret. Loom for the first time. This is exciting times now. Hopefully we'll be hearing noise tonight. Coming together. Oh, exhaust is nice. One off custom. Spent a couple of weeks making it. Suits, really suits the engine. <laughs> Two minutes and she's gonna start. Come <laughs> On, will Second set of tires in the car? Two and a half. And a half. <laughs> yeah. That's good. It's good when you see rubber in the door. I'm happy overall. It's, uh, I think, a car with a lot of potential. Um, definitely a lot different to drive, but good thing is that it seems like it could be fast. Very hard to know right now because obviously uh, we have nothing to compare it against and we've only literally burnt off uh, two and a half sets of tires um, yeah but make some changes and uh, next time i'll be driving this will be the first round of drift masters so very excited about it actually flying to um, atlanta tonight so um 
pretty busy times. Been a busy week for all the guys. Jesus. It's a lot of time spent at this getting it running over the last uh, over the last we got collected the car what two weeks two three weeks ago and in that time built the engine my brother Mike and Ken put the engine together uh, Trevor was flat out making all the fittings Michael was organizing bits and pieces so was I trying to organize bits and pieces in between all the events and uh, in three weeks I got painted pretty sweet I can't wait to see it with the uh, with the uh, sponsor logos on it uh, engine build car fully wired all the plumbing done um, set up all like the intercooler pipes fabricated um, like quite a lot of work to achieve in three weeks and uh, yeah we got a dyno that met 800 oh, just over 800 horsepower uh, without the nitrous and it definitely has a feels pretty quick it's pretty cool keypad ECU masters dash certainly in the PDMs one for the rear uh, one under the dash for the front along with the EMP black ECU pedal box is actually very nice to use um, Samsona sequential gearbox HEK handbrake lever, it's pretty cool. Br bracket. Um, a lot of finishing touches left and some cleaning, but uh, overall, it's an absolutely incredible car. Just to finish it off now, put in the seats, clean everything, stickers, uh, some small adjustments, and she is ready for her first competition. So, very, very excited.